a deer's antler. You know, with people like this, we have problems. My religion tells me I don't do this, so I don't get, I don't have to do this to participate in society. Because they promote bullshit. The reason why the oceans are salty is that's what's needed to hold the, the water onto the earth. If that didn't happen, the water would levitate right off the earth. That'd be the end of it. Are you me? He's a person who says a lot of nonsense. Really, I want to ask you this. I get out there on social media. You've seen my social media on Facebook. We put stuff about vaccines out there and we battle those trolls and, and shills and gatekeepers and all that, whatever that terminology is. And really, to put it out there, we need your help. You need to shut the fuck up. Oh yeah, trolls, trolls, yeah, chills as well, you know, paid shills going on Facebook, going on Twitter and knocking down his beliefs. It can't be actual scientists or people who care about facts. It can't be just simple critics. It can't be people with skeptical points of view. No, it must be trolls or it must be shills. Every single height has been found mushroom spores because they can levitate off the planet because they're surrounded by a shell of Ormus, which actually is trying to get to the center of the sun. Mushrooms produce spores. They get carried up by the wind. They, get, they can be carried into, you know, some parts of the atmosphere, sure. And it's like, that has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with, oh, they're energetically drawn to the sun. Chocolate lines up planetarily with the sun. Like sun energy and chocolate energy, it aligns, apparently. In fact, it's the energy of the center of the sun. It's a male energy that comes down off the sun, and, and it actually, out of all the plants, the cacao is right on line, target of the center of the sun, which we call, in our body, the heart. And actually, cacao is right up with the center of the sun, which is the center of the heart, which is called the sacred heart. How does this work? Oh, well, he doesn't say that. Does it work at all? Oh, well, he doesn't prove any of that either. So the cacao is hitting that frequency of the sacred heart. So really, why should we believe it? when a person like this says anything. And so mushrooms are in fact not from here. They're from somewhere else. They came here, they rode in on the cosmic wind. We have people like this all over the world, so-called experts who claim to have special knowledge, but their knowledge doesn't really count for much. We need your help. When it's on Twitter, when it's on Facebook, we need you to chime in and say, hey, I have a healthy, unvaccinated child. People who get money for doing lectures, for doing workshops. And graphene is not intrinsic to matter. That Carl Sagan idea that was sold to us on Cosmos, on PBS, was sold to us deliberately to actually confuse us. And just so you know that. There's people who've known that gravity is a force that can be displaced. There's people who've known that since the 50s or even earlier than that. But by, by screwing up our, or confusing our mind about these things and giving us incorrect theories, we were brainwashed into a totally different belief system. That is, gravity is intrinsic to all matter. We're fighting gravity. We have to push our way through gravity to launch a craft up into outer space and all this nonsense. They simply state things as being true without any proof. Deer antler is not a product. It's a cosmic substance. And it's an androgenic substance, by the way, very androgenic, and it needs to be taken with respect and understanding. And why we've been, while we've been getting into this whole thing about estrogenic forces and then androgenic forces, you got to know that hey, like deer antler is an androgenic force. And then why? Because it's a sub, it's a, it's cosmic in nature. It's elevating. It's levitational in its nature which actually it makes you younger. Forces of levity make you younger. Rudolf Steiner, if you recall what I said the first night here, Rudolf Steiner said that we gradually age due to substances in our body that are seized by the Earth's gravity. He could have said anything. He could have said anything at all, but he said that. That's amazing. And then he goes on to this whole thing about levity, that you want to use levity to try to drive the force of levity into your body. Then he starts talking about silica that silica can be, can be made to be levitational again. People in the West, with money, with the ability to waste their money on absolute nonsense, they believe it. This luxury time and luxury money they have, they spend on ridiculous ideas that make them feel better. Please start today to look at these in your local health food store. 
because they're connecting through to the right vibrations. That's what it's indicating is that energies are flowing into the cosmos or flowing out of the earth and up and they're being concentrated in certain substances like a deer's antler. So when you take a deer antler product, that's not some joke. That's not some like, oh, we're taking this supplement now. That's a very deeply intuitive read that many, many sages in the history of our planet tuned into and were like, that's where the prana is concentrated, right there. You think, I feel better about myself because of something. Like a deer's antler. And you feel better about yourself because of that something. Like a deer's antler. So yeah, you make yourself feel better because of some jerk off like this, who basically pulls ideas out of his ass. Like a deer's antler. And because you wish to believe it, because you wish to feel good about it, you feel good about believing the right ideas. It's no different than religion. It's removed from standard religion. But it's the same sort of thinking. Rather than thinking, oh, Jesus is out for me, you think, oh, the energy's working for me, or the right kind of diet is working for me, you know, or avoiding modern medicine in favor of certain energetic principles. That is serving my goals. Because I listen to these philosophical individuals, I am going to be better off in and of myself. You delude yourself about the nature of the world. You make yourself believe certain things that aren't true. And it might feel great to you. It might feel good. But really, it counts for practically nothing. It counts for so little. But because people are deluded, they don't see that. A deer's antler. So when you take a deer antler product, that's not some joke. That's not some like, oh, we're taking this supplement now. That's a very deeply intuitive read. Many, many sages in the history of our planet tuned into and were like, that's where the prana is concentrated, right there. A deer's antler. It's a cosmic substance. Because it's, a sub, it's, a, it's cosmic in nature. A deer's antler.